family, Mike. How we doing, fellas? No, I think it's okay. Bobby King Green coming to the scale. Love hearing John Annick's voice in the morning, Big Ron. I know you you got it. Look, six a.m. this morning, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of running in. How we feeling? I could not handle that. I could not handle the run, the 5K. One five six for Bobby Green. Anik and Florin podcast mug. You can get yours officially. JohnAnik.com. Use code one more sleep for 20% off this week and basically every week. One fifty five and a hook for Jalen Turner. So now wrap your heads around the fact that I'm six foot three and Jalen Turner is six foot three. Yeah. Big Ron, you are not six foot three. <laughs> you you're six foot three in a I don't even know. I don't even know a funny joke. Six, six, four. six four and a half six, four. soaking wet. <laughs> One forty five and a hook for Calvin Cater, Boston Zone. Eighteen months off. This is the first time back in eighteen months after that knee injury. That's Arnold Allen. Gets Algernon Sterling coming up to one forty five. His return. Interesting. New York versus Boston. Well, after eighteen months too. I mean, big layoff for Calvin Cater, guy who's never turned down any big competition. He's fought the best of the best, Max Holloway. It's going to be a great fight. You know, Aljamain Sterling, he's going to come in to a top 10 opponent here, prove his case, try and go out there and earn that title shot. 145 is pretty wide open as it stands now. could make a huge splash. Cater, I'll tell you what, he's a gangster because that's a, just stylistically, you would assume it's a, a tough matchup, especially for a guy that comes back and you would, don't you need some mobility to get away from a wrestler, you know, with some lateral mobility? I mean, it's, he must be really healthy. I mean, 18 months is more than enough time, too, to get out. Right, right. Men. I'm not saying that he wouldn't be, but it's tough to, uh, is ring rust real? I don't know if Don Cruz says it isn't. Don Cruz says it. Nope. Well, I don't think for the New England cartel, it really has been, you know, like Rob Font has suffered some pretty long term injuries as well. And he's always bounced back. You know, these guys aren't really spry either. And they're always seemingly, you know, just as healthy as they were the last time out. There's not really any lagging injuries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Kayla Harrison coming to the scale. Holy shit. 135. Let's see what she hopefully 135. Knock on wood. Kayla Harrison making her UFC debut at the Wayans. Oh. 136 championship weight almost. That extra pound is gonna be tough. She looked good though. She looked like she had energy. She didn't look like completely sucked out. We've seen a lot worse, you know, especially with some wit. It seems like to me, the women, when they struggle with the weight cuts, it's a lot more visible. This is like shaking and shivering. There's a lot more physical maturation of that as opposed to the men who seem to kind of hide it a little bit. I mean, some guys, obviously, we've seen guys fall before or trip or pass out, you know, but. She ever made it before? She never had to make that weight in competition when in any other MMA. No, I don't think she's ever had to make that weight. Period yeah. for a since seventh grade, maybe. Like she's big, you know. Oh, she's <laughs> she's yeah. Jacked. If I can have the muscle definition of Kayla Harrison, I'll be a very happy man. I'm. Yeah. Well, hey, I'll say I, after spending some time with Chris Weidman last night, I would do a lot of things to trade for Chris Weidman's physique. Holy shit, that guy, peak. Physical specimen. (laughs) 
<laughs> you just said that. <laughs> so, so we got the MMA fighting feed here, um, and I believe that was Alexander Lee um, was just talking about Cody Brundage there. <laughs> so, shout out the MMA fighting guys. Hey, why don't you say what he said? <laughs> he goes, some would say. I, I would not say that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'll keep it to myself. Uh, as you can see, that's the MMA fighting super chat. Sorry, guys. I'm not going down to the Apex at 9 a.m. to shoot some live video. Here, plug this into your mic so you can. It'll give you the feedback so you can hear yourself. You put it in whatever other ear. I know I'm good. My mic's good. Well, they just don't yeah. say it. I'm gonna listen to it. I'll be your, I'll be your audio. You know what the thing about this is, Ron is usually so John Moore. I've worked with John on Morgan in the past before for the UFC, and he's been at these you know um, weigh-ins, and he'll do a live stream, and he kind of does like golf commentary, and he's doing a little like this. And I kind of miss that. You know, you have conversations with John Anik, Heidi Dean, you know, a couple of the staff. It's really fun. I wish he would do that again. 116 for Marina Rodriguez. Ray Long was in Spring Bank. I remember the green room, bro. I got a, I got in the green room a few times back in the day. Oh, yeah? Thing we lost since pandemic. No more green room with the USC 300. So with all 50 of you guys watching, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. It's the live weigh-in show here at the Virgin Penthouse, Las Vegas, Nevada, here with Big Ron Pellegrino. I am, of course, Cody Merrill, producer extraordinaire, extremely attractive male individual. If, if you guys recognize my jersey, you want to take a look at this. This is the infamous celebrity basketball game fit that I decided to bring out for this fight week this week. Big Ron is not a fan. Big Ron, why? What did you tell me when I walked in with this jersey? We're trying to listen. We never want to be a homer. We want to be honest. We want to pick winners, you know, but. Jamal, that was the last time that jersey was worn, you just destroyed a light heavyweight. Well, oh, I, I mean, in fairness, I will say, Jamal Hill was absolutely destroying everybody in that game. I mean, if Jamal Hill doesn't get hurt, they probably win that game by 25 points. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I know, I know, I know he cares about a white boy's opinion from New Hampshire on his basketball game, but... Yeah. You go, you know, we're stop by for, you know, we're Ronnie, you know, Big Ron, do you know where uh, the Thomas and Mac is? I go, yeah, Cody, it's a black truck. Yeah, go, literally, look out the window. It's right there. You guys came over, chilled for a minute, came, you know, had just enough time to rupture an Achilles on the light heavyweight champ. Shout out, and then came back, and that's that. <laughs> then, and so this begins. Who, uh, who has already made way? Do we know? Can we look? Do we know? I think four people are left. Oh, someone says they think Big Ron's muted. Well, we're going to change mics then. I don't know. Hold on. I'll plug this one in. Yeah. Let's see here. Check, 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 check. Yeah, live. Uh... Live production. Oh, no, I couldn't hear it. Yeah, it wasn't on the whole you time. Can you hear it? No. Nah. I don't know, bro. I don't do this shit. I never go live. All my shit's edited. You think I look this good in, re in real life? <laughs> I can hear it totally now. I don't know why that one. Yeah? What about now? Can't hear nothing out of yours. Hope you guys are having Well, you can. But... All right, chat. If you can hear me, let me know. Mr. Jordan Fusis off Rissy. I can't even say that. Jordanius off Rizia. He's got that res. That's what he's got. Yeah. Aljo 146, they said. Bro, he looks shredded still. He looked big. So being like a, you know, what is executive producer extraordinaire of the Annika Florian podcast, uh, what does that uh, do for your Northeast New England you know, roots that there's going to be a New England cartel taking on a uh, Longo Mafia. What, 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 what does that do for you? I mean, that's tough. I mean, that's tough. I mean, how how else 
can you handle something like that when you know both fighters, right? Both know them both. I've known Aljo for like five years now. I've known Cal for, you know, three, three and a half. New England boys, it's so tough. You know, it's one of those fights that you don't want either guy to lose, but that's not going to happen. It's not the name of the game. Well, I'll tell you what. I think, uh, I think Longo, I think Longo liked uh, his guy not had that last 11 pounds. You know what I mean? Is that, he, that's the first time I've seen that guy with cheat. With, you know, on a presser last night, he actually looked like he, he didn't, he wasn't yeah. going to die. You, can, you know you what I mean? You hear him too. Usually yeah. his voice is pretty sucked out. Yeah. And I don't think people realize, you know, we watch this stuff and we're so pumped for the fights. But what these guys go through that 48, you know, that specifically that 48 hours before weigh ins is just, yeah, it's brutal. I've seen it live so many times over the years and it's, how certain guys can do it and other guys can, and then how over time, how much harder it gets to do. And, you know, Aljo making that weight at 24, I get it. I, I, you know what I mean? When he's making 135 pounds at 24 years old, I get it. Yeah. Making it at 34 years old. Whew. And, you know, the last few were all, all championships. So that last pound that you talk about, it counts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dead air, bro. What do we do with dead air? Dead air is me trying to figure my mic out. Um, I wish we could. Can we open up a split screen and see like some of the other ones? I want to see what happened earlier. They were just had them up to set up like an assembly line, man. I mean, they were just rough. I didn't have a a whole lot of concern about anybody missing weight. You know what I mean on the card, especially uh, concern about people missing weight. Just because it was UFC 300, and then when Dana White announces 300k bonuses, I have no concern about him missing yeah. weight today. You know, uh, bonus eligible 300k, man. Like that's uh, for all the haters talking about you know Dana's cheap and there's not enough money going around. Anybody, uh, I mean, imagine one of these kids on that card. You know what I mean? Picks up 300k. <laughs> Big money. It's going to be like the Dana White Contender Series, but at UFC 300, everybody going for a finish. (laughs) You know? You said there was four people that haven't weighed in? Correct. Yeah. Do we know who? Um, I mean, the ones that we were, Kayla Harrison, that was a big, not a question mark, but that was, a, that was one people were concerned with. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you now. You can hear me now? Yeah. Good. It's no, it's through the mic that I just connected on uh, my phone, but I'm, that's why I'm the producer, Big Ron. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just a talent. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or lack thereof. Hey, you can call yourself whatever you want. You're here. <laughs> but yes. Oh, there's, oh, there's that, Max and Bill. Simon, Maximilian, what's up? How we doing? Oh, nice. Fits around the corner there. Bro, he's he's Ty, Ty Trevathan, what's up, dude? We're here. We out here. Yeah, big round. We can go back. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll go back and we're gonna take a look. And we'll. Is it even running? This isn't even on. Oh, here we go. That's the list right there, fellas. Yeah, I need visual aids. Let's listen to it. All right, I just want to see who has. There we go. Prayer. Jamal has still in the way. Bro, shouldn't they have to make 55 for that BML bump? I guess is that the rule? No, they both weigh in 56, apparently. There you go. That's so I guess BMF championship weight means that you're pound over. The BMF belt is actually 176 or 156. 
Oh, the girls' main link, Sadiq and Diego. Andraj. Jim, Jim Miller hasn't made it yet. Come, Come on, on, go, go back. back. Get Get some some juice. Juice. Well, I'm just making sure it's still alive. Go. Take, Take us through it, Ron. Take, Take us through on the full screen here. So you have to weigh in. Alex Pereira, Jamal Hill, Amon Sarupian, and Jim Miller. But the rest of the card, we're locked in. The rest of the card is good to go. We have a promise of 11 fights, barring any fuckery. Well, so I think it's funny that Jim Miller was worried about Bobby Green pulling out. They're not making weight. Bobby, Bobby got in there early. Jim has it yet. Then you got Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill, Bo Nichols. I mean, you don't have to worry about a wrestling missing weight. Yeah, all in all, everything lined up. So now, Big Ron, obviously, Alex Pereira, Jamal Hill, both guys are going to be down, and we know that. We're not really worried as far as their weigh-ins are concerned. I'm on sorry, John. I mean, the guy's built like a brick shit house. I don't really have any concern there. A lot of muscle weight probably just started to cut this morning. So as we look at the fights now, I know before I kind of was in on your cooking a little bit when I walked in. How are we looking for the Anakin Florian podcast parlor that's going to be live on the DraftKings Sportsbook app today? Oh, you want it live? I don't want it live. I don't want – don't reveal the sauce. Just let me inside the world. Let me behind the happy dad hat. Let me into the brain. Ron <laughs> that was good. Um, pal, listen, the way I see it right now, as exciting as this card is for the casuals and the diehards to watch, there's a lot of fights that you got to try to avoid. I mean, if you're going to bet this, oh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 there's a lot of competitive, close fights on the card. And even some of the bigger favorites, like, I could see the dogs taking it up. You know, it's, it, it's going to be fun. But I, I got to dial in. Trying to, trying to do, have some, do have some pals, pals on the card, on the card that trying, trying not, not to, to uh, let it affect my, uh, you know, expertise. But I think that uh, we're in it for a treat from 3 o'clock on. It's just going to be a fun card. But I, I'm looking at fights what to avoid more than what I'm trying to bet right now. Makes a lot of sense. And, and typically, this this practice of waiting until you know everybody makes weight is because years in the past of grinding, you know, weeks ahead of time, have everything dialed in. What I'm going to do? Two guys miss weight, fights off. <laughs> <laughs> now you're scrambling. Yeah. Sorry, folks. If you see me inside and outside the shot, I'm trying to adjust this lighting here to give us the best. It's giving me a little flicker, and I couldn't fix it unless I really fuck with it. So, I mean, a producer would have handled that Just ahead like of time. That. I know, right? And it's probably that light. At some point in the night, see, here's the thing: when you're drinking with friends, you know, you don't want to say something that makes you look like an idiot. But I'm standing here, and I'm like, at some point in the night, every one of these light bulbs flickers, and I so, don't think it's because I'm crazy. This is the classic. You know, things get switched over to LEDs, yeah. and the dimmers may not be may not be LED dimmers, dimmers. and you get and a little, little weak. This, this is, is the new world, world we're living in. Can't just have bulbs that work all the time. I know. <laughs> all right, what do we got? Mall. Yeah, there's mall. Pull this up off the screen. Thank you. Here I am complaining about the free live stream. Credit to MMA fighting. Small looks Hill. like, looks like somebody made weight. 205. Wait. Bro, so he was in the – Jamal was in the cantina Sunday night. Where is it? Uh, across the street, 4480 Paradise Road. 4480 Paradise Road if you're in Las Vegas. Best tacos of your life. Now remember, Cody lives in New Hampshire, so – I, I I'm not, I'm biased. My tacos are good, but just remember where he came from. New Hampshire shade. Jamal came in. It was his coach's birthday, so they stopped in the cantina, and uh, man, he looked good. You know, he looked lean, but he's a big boy. So to make two hundred five, I bet you, 
since Sunday to Friday morning, 25. Yeah. You know, I, I bet you 25. But he's just a, a big kid, man. Like, you know, you meet certain guys, and I'm, you know, I'm a guy of stature. Some guys seem bigger or longer than others, even if they're the same height and weight, it seems. He's a big kid. Hmm. Like, he takes – like, I could imagine – when you're in the octane with him, well, actually, no, I can't imagine that. I don't want to imagine that, <laughs> but I can imagine an opponent being in the octagon and seeing him, and all of a sudden he's on them. You know, what I mean? he's long. He knows how to use his distance, so it's going to be a really good fight because you got a guy that you know afraid of any of that and a, and a big counter -serve. So this is going to be fun. Well, it's a difficult guy not to have fear against, right? I mean, how many of Alex's UFC fights have the other fighters faced fear? Really? Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut you off. Breaking, Breaking news. news. No, literally. Yeah, right from, from uh, the way the, the, the brother, the good toy. Breaking news. UFC live lands. Big round go. Verbatim. Jason Ann's mall looked good. That's, That's, it. It. That's it. That's the kind of stuff you guys get exclusively <laughs> on the Anakin Florian podcast is A-level insight from Jason Anik on the ground, boots on the ground. He's kind of like undercover. It's like, it's like people come up to him and be like, hey, yo, it was a tough weight cut. Oh, shit, you're not John. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it happens all the time. Yeah. I'm just kidding. never happens. I'll tell you what. Now that Jason cut his hair and he can put a baseball hat on, he, he, he probably, probably gets tortured, he gets far, tortured more far more than he ever did before about being his, being his brother. Not that, Not that that's, that's a terrible thing. thing. It's, it's just, you know, know when you're trying to run downstairs or grab a cup of coffee, it turns, it turns into, into a production. Into a production. <laughs> and next thing you know, Jason's <laughs> pulling his ID out. Yeah, no, no, I'm his I'm twin. Twin. I go, And me, and I'm me, yelling in the background. I go, come on, we gotta go. All right, so we're just waiting on Poets on for the main event to be finalized i think i just lost i don't know whatever you just did i can't hear myself anymore you can't hear yourself mm -mm. i used to i have no idea can you here's armand Sarukian. Nope. Man, that kid's shredded. I mean, he's not that like the big as I was tall. I'm not here, so. Yeah. Um, no. Nah. He's, man, that kid's sad. Dude, he is ripped. Thick. Like Chandler, like just shorter, stockier, jacked. Yeah. But he's a kid, man, so I'm, I'm sure he can make that weight for a while. What is he, 25, 26? Young. Yeah. He is young. I remember uh, me and Jason yesterday, he was doing his prep and we were watching. I told him to put on that Islam fight, uh, Sarukian. And, uh, I think it was 22. He took that fight on a week's notice or something. Yeah. And, and one of the most incredible performances against uh, Islam. Gave Islam everything he could handle for three rounds till he ran out of juice. But it was uh, probably a big part of why he expedited, you know, his career and is so good so quickly. That fight, I mean, he, I'm not going to say he out grappled, but he didn't shy away from it. He was shooting a takedown. He shot a takedown right. in Islam early. <laughs> Like he let him know, you know, that he wasn't afraid of it. Do you think uh you think Chris Geraldo is gonna be doing the uh the uh the face paid the face for, paid for uh, uh, Alex for sure. Peloton? Which she must hate. That's like a three hour job, is it not? No, she bro, everyone likes she that loves, guy. And she loves she loves her. what She's she does. Nice. Make we're speaking of the uh what would you the head, the lead makeup artist for the UFC? 
I don't know what you say, but Chris Geraldo, shout out. She's good people. We've known Chris and her sister for years in Vegas, and uh, she's doing well. She's the one that has painted, that has done the war. What we were, I don't even know if we said it, the war paint that Poetan, is that what you call it? You know, the headdress, the Poetan, is it yeah, war paint? I don't, he's of the Patexo tribe. Bro, listen, I could barely speak English, you know, so I'm, I, I do my damnedest when I when I have to do the, you know, you want to give people the behind the scenes behind the hat when I'm constantly calling you, when I'm going to put it in the pack, I'm like, Cody, how do you say this guy's name? Because I'm yeah, not listening to John and trash me. <laughs> ain't that the truth. Is there any coffee left in there? I think so. Just so you know, this isn't a prop. We're actually drinking. Oh, that's fine. I'll just take a splash. Toss that right in there. Look at that. That's live. Remember Laura Seiko's little, uh, it's just sometimes coffee tastes better out of certain mugs. Remember yeah. her plug? Yeah, she was right. I'm coming for Seiko. I'm going to get a good plug in before the end of the week. <laughs> He's fucking hot. Hey, don't work. But did you see Poetan's uh his fight trunks? His fight shorts? Yeah, those are fire. Did you see Maxis? No. They gave him his florals. Oh, yes, I did see that. Uh, that was pretty wild. Uh, do I want to do that? No, I'll just wait. Sorry. So yeah, we're down to Bo Nickel to make weight. Jim fucking Miller. All right, I didn't know if this was out of there. Jim fucking Miller and uh, Alex Poetan Pereira or Pereira, not Pereira. Pereira. What does Uncle Shell say? Piera? He just throws Piera. a whole nother little. Yeah. Another little sprinkle on. Uncle Shell can do what he wants. Undefeated. Undefeated in the. Octagon undefeated in life. Undisputed, undisputed. <laughs> what is that? Never lost. lost. I saw shit here. What's up? What's the crack? Crack is whack. Trend daddy. Trend daddy. Always, Always rapping. <laughs> we made it. US 300. We made it. Made it. We did it. We did it. Four fighters. Two more, now three, three more fighters. Three. Oh, we got somebody to the scale. Jim. Oh, Jim fucking Miller. I mean, you know, this guy ain't missing weight. No. UFC 100, UFC 200, UFC 300 official. You know, I, I think people were really like, you know, Pissed about Buffer not saying Jim fucking Miller, you know. Well, Buffer's a classy guy. Yeah, He's a gonna, role model. Was, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't gonna go that far, but what I'm gonna say he is a classic guy. He's old school, man. He, you know, he he does approach for a guy that turned something that wasn't conventional at all into something that's like the norm now for the UFC. The way he screams in it, he is a very classy old school guy, you know. So I I wasn't shocked that he didn't want to say that, like. You know, on regular TV, I, I bet you if it was on the pay per view, maybe he would have ripped it. Well, down. that's the funny thing, right? Is how about the uh, you imagine know, sitting there with your kid, right? You'd be sitting there with your kid for like six fights, and all of a sudden they're like, Jim fucking Miller, and you're like, Oh my god, what just happened? Cover my kid's ears, yeah, and just remember that you're also in the same place that people's faces are getting opened up in front of those kids, you know. Yeah. So, words. You know, we do live in a gen. I don't want to get canceled. We do live in a generation, you know, sticks and stones, man. Like, uh, remember that? That they we used to say that. Oh, yeah, sticks true. and stones may break my bones. But words. Words are never. worse. <laughs> I'm too old, man. All right, y'all. So we're waiting here. Give me this mic for a second. What's so, up, folks? So we're waiting here. We got the comments going. 88 of you here in the chat. I want to see some comments here. We'll answer the comments live, betting comments, prediction comments. 
Just put them all in the chat here, and we'll answer them live on screen as we await. I think we have, what, two fighters now? Just Alex Pereira, and um, I think that's it, right? Sorry, Khan. He waited. No, he just waited. Yeah, so we're just waiting on uh, Alex Pereira. So he did this at 185 when he challenged Izzy the first time. He waited till what five minutes left, and then he made it like eighty four and a half. He made it like under championship weight, if you remember. Like made them get the towel, like you know, little little gamesman shit. Yeah, I do remember that. I don't uh, have any. If that guy made eighty five, no problem, multiple times in a row. shit. He made it quick too. I mean, he how many how many fights did he have before he got to about three? Um, yeah, we, fight. yeah, I think so. Because we lost the flying that was when I met, that was when I met you at the Strickland fight. Yep. I not to flex and everyone's uh I told you so that I'm sit, Cody Merrill sitting behind me. DC was it DC's brothers next to you? Yeah, cousin, something like that. Yeah. I actually think he passed away. Oh uh-huh. thanks for taking it. Sorry no, I'm for... saying all all respect to the most high, you know, rest in peace if that's the case, because they were great people. Yeah, no, they were. We had a we had a lot of fun that night. Um, yeah, and I, me, but I, but I, Big Ron, my friend Sid, Jake the Snake. Oh yeah, Billy Dan Danimal was with us. And Thad. And Thad. Daddy, Daddy, yeah. Oh, no wonder Rick. I can fucking see. Danimal was probably sitting in front of me, a motherfucker. That, that's fair. He he makes me look. I don't want to say tiny, but he he does take up some space. Um, the big dumb animal, Danimal. But that night we were sitting there watching. You know, Strickland, you got to remember, Strickland takes that fight. Pereira is unranked. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody wants to take that fight. Strickland is a gangster. And all I remember saying about one second before, I go, I can't believe Strickland is just standing with this monster. I go, because at any moment, clunk, and then bang, bang, pow, done. And that's the kind of power he possesses. You know, he he swings that left like Barry Bonds home runs. Bonds home runs. Real, compact. Real compact. Shit, power, shit power, right? power. You know what I mean? I don't, like I don't even like Barry Bonds. I'm just saying that's what it is. He, he, like, he, 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 he just six, 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 or at least knocked down Gary Prosca. I mean, he planted his feet and he threw a quick one, too, but none of those were big movements. No. Well, I think it's. He's he's a pure example of a precision striker. Yeah, I do I do favor Jamal's you know straight boxing, uh, you know just of the sweet science thinking uh, straight punches get there quicker than hooks. But whoever gets that distance gets quicker, that distance and whoever I mean honestly, whoever lands first can. I don't know. I'm really pumped for that fight. Lots of storylines, you know. There's a ton of storylines on that fight. Yeah. You got. Oh, here he comes, Alex. Alex. Pereira. Roll the R. Roll the R. No H. No H. Oh, that boy is big. I know. Man, I like. <laughs> <Man, I lie. laughs> this is the problem when this you get to know some of these guys well. Like, I love watching. Like, I Poetan love fight. watching Poetan fight. I've never met the man. I've never met I've the seen, man. Well, I've, I've been, seen, in, well, the I've been him, in the room with him, but I've never really met him. Never really met him. And, and uh, my my uh, my poor <laughs> is a tip top. top you know, right? But uh, uh, you know, knowing Jamal and. and trying not to be biased about stuff once you get to know people but this is just a classic thing or anybody that claims they were upset you know what i mean before they're not gonna be because this is gonna be a banger i don't know how long it's gonna last but i have a feeling it's gonna no feel out bro that's my prediction on that fight no feel out whatsoever. what are you trying to get I'm trying to turn off this light which one is it just one. Which one? Well, no, the these circle ones. The ones above us or the ones behind me? Bo- 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 above us. It's the bar lights. Hit, lights. Yeah, hit the... yeah, there you go. That's better or worse. How's our lighting look? This is why we need the. But we're in the little. I think it's my camera. 
And that's the problem. Like it's my camera that's doing it. You know what I mean? This actually looks clear though. The, the, the flashing on myself was like pissing me off. It was like giving me agita. Between what was it? Agita? Agita. Yeah. The shin god. He's talking Sean. about her. Perm. Dog locks. See, dogs are tough. We're gonna have to open up a different tab here and look at the old. I tell you what. There's a couple of live dogs on this guy. Yuri Pahaska's a small dog, or at least he was. Uh, it's probably minus one time, both sides. Uh, that's a fight that's really snuck under the radar. Considering, Considering there's, there's a light heavyweight main event championship, championship fight, fight, and there's, there's two, two killers, killers in the division. division. And then that's, that's just how stacked, stacked this card is. That, that, that just, just totally, totally went under the radar. radar. All right, so we're looking at the odds now here. I got them up on screen here in our little chat window. So we're looking at these odds. Devison Figueiredo to start off the card minus 305. Cody Garbrandt plus 245. As always, these odds are on the DK Sportsbook. Read them out, Big Ron. Bobby still, still says, says Bobby. Bobby. King Green, minus 185. Jim fucking Miller returning wow. 154. Jessica Andrade, minus 142. Marina Rodriguez, plus 120 on the return. That line flipped. flipped. That, that opened up. a lot. Yeah, that, that line opened up. up. You could have a of Miller on that if you bet, you know, Marina two weeks ago. Because she was minus 130, 140, if I'm not mistaken. Then uh, and, uh, Jalen, Turner, Jalen Turner minus 238 against our boy Hanato Money Moicano. You know his real name or his original last name was Carmero? Really? Yeah, Jay told me that. We were watching it. It was actually in his choice not long ago. And I was didn't feel like I know stuff and I did not know. Yeah. Uh, Diego, the superstar and the budding superstar Lopez minus one forty two takes on Super Sadiq Yusuf, potentially a live duck. Listen, Diego Lopez, I think this guy's a superstar, but this is a legit step up in competition. Like this is a, I don't want to say it's not a make or break by any you know stretching as a kid's career, but that this is a Sadiq Yusuf is. He can do it all, man. And there's a lot in his hands. He does get, you know, he does mix it up and tend to get stung here and there. But if he gets through it, he could be tough. Diego Lopez, man, that kid is. Uh, I met him at the Apex a few, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, a month ago or whatever. Just a nice kid, man. But he's a killer, bro. He gets a limb. <laughs> I didn't want to shake his hand. God forbid he jumped up and like grabbed my. <laughs> I have to shake him off. You know what I mean? Um. But now there's some dogs on that card for sure that are live. I mean, there's no way. Even I hear there was some real. Yeah, I told you it's minus one ten eight seven. Well, Rakic was like minus one thirty a couple of days ago. It doesn't shock me you're gonna get money on Prosca. I feel like that line was a little bit of a trap, but I'm not sure. Bo Nichols down to down to minus sixteen hundred. Cody Brundage on the return plus nine hundred. Armand. Sarukian, correct? Sarukian yes. takes on Charlie Olives. Armand's minus two and a quarter. Return is plus 185. I mean, you talk about live dogs. There's a live dog. I mean, I know the Sarukian is a, Sarukian. Is a whirlwind. Oh, but Charlie O, I, I am so dialed in in certain fighters where I've been on the right side of them their whole career. And then there's other guys that I've <laughs> there's other guys that I have not picked well, <laughs> and whether I'm against them or for them. Charles Oliver is that guy. I I had him against Islam. I was wrong. I had Gagey against him. him. I, I was, was wrong. wrong. You know, yeah. sometimes sometimes, sometimes there's certain guys, guys. It's tough to it's call. Tough to call. Or, or, or it seems, seems to be you're, to on, be the be you're on the wrong side. Wrong side. Well, I mean, look at this card. The names that I'm just saying, and just 
it sounds like it I sounds could be like talking, I could about, be talking about, about an ESPN the main event slate of the next. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, insane. it's insane. It's just, it's just one, one after, one after the, other. the other. And last, and last month, month, everyone, everyone was, was saying, saying that, that 299 was better than, as great as 291. Uh, new 99 was everyone was trying to say that it's a better card than 300 man i don't i don't know how you're gonna have a much better card than this one on paper i don't think it's uh you know ufc uh propaganda you know the the machine i think when they say this is the best card ever on paper i mean this is the best card ever on paper it's yeah. gotta be it's gotta be shama Trindaddy hit the shama. Yeah. Jang. And there's a lot of people that, that think that Whaley Zhang is the, you know, the best ever. And then uh there's a handful of people that claim that the Yan Zhao Nan. Correct. Not see correct though. Uh she's a killer. I just don't know if she's a little older too. I wasn't aware that she was uh she's been around that long, you know. She thinks she's like 35, Yan Jonan. I didn't know that. But Whaley. She's all did you see her English? She she did good at the press conference dropping her English bombs. Yeah, she was nice with it. She was nice with it. Jason Anik on his way back to the penthouse. Don't get nervous. What's Ty? What's Ty Trevese? Alex has to be careful. Leave his hands out with your mouth. I agree. And I don't think that I agree. Uh, Ty Trevathian, I'll tell you. I don't think uh I don't think you're wrong at all. And I don't think Jamal Hill wants to give him any time whatsoever to get those kicks going. Cause the thing about that guy, it seems like a lot of other guys you could take multiple kicks. Lex Pereira, man, he just he just has a way of dropping two, one or two, and it's just it's crippling. I mean, he literally took Baraska off his feet with the first leg. I mean, literally took that monster off his feet with a leg kick in the very beginning of the fight. And you could tell that Prohaska definitely pushed, you know, the the action trying to, you know, trying to get him out of there because his leg was toast. Oh, there it goes again. I said that word a little too much when we we're talking about that. <laughs> Legs are toast. <laughs> too much toast. Yeah, All the toast. Give us your check, talk, check, talk, check, 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 check. Oh, I have to be careful. I have some UFC trading cards. Move a little closer to the mic oh, here. See? Trend Daddy. Trend Daddy's always dialed in. I have some UFC trading cards with both of Hanato Moicano's names on it. Really? Yeah. Carnero, I believe it was. Move closer. I don't know if you. I don't know if you count the count. I don't know if you count the S, but I think uh, Carnero. Yeah, Carnero. Carnero. It's a like Carnero. Sounds good. All right, fellas. Well, we're running up here 44 minutes. We're going to go to the 45 minute mark. I do want to get some quick plugs in here. Any Florian podcast, two episodes this week, two previews, full videos on DraftKings YouTube page. On the UFC YouTube page, you can find the UFC 300 betting preview that we did with John Anik, Henry Cejudo, and Nick Kalikas. On UFC's Fight Pass channel, you can find the Anakin Florian rewind with Alex Pereira and Diego Lopez's fights before they came into the UFC. That preview is on their YouTube page on UFC Fight Pass, but the full episode's on Fight Pass. And, of course, you can sign up at DraftKings Sportsbook. Use code AFPOD to get, turn $5 into $150 in free bets. I don't have the promo language in front of me, so the legal team is going to have to just deal with that. But you can watch John Anik's commercial at the end of our episode for the UFC betting preview. So make sure you follow us on social media at Anik Florian Pod, at Big Ron Bets, at Cody Marrow. Make sure you get your questions in. Reply to us on Twitter. We're going to be hitting you with the DK Sportsbook Parlay once Big Ron sets up in the kitchen here to cook it up for y'all. It's coming, bro. Thank you guys for tuning in. Big Ron is going to take us out.
And that's it. Later, boys.